Okay, so moving ahead with the Bajazzo battery, I did finally manage to get um, a battery clip that's going to be compatible uh, with the harness that's inside the chassis. Um, and actually where I got this um, is out of another radio, um, which is a reproduction uh, of an old radio, but it's like a modern one. Um, which uh, one of my boys got me for Christmas because cause I mentioned that I used to have one of that type uh, back when I was about 14, 15. Um, the only problem was the, the distance between the two connectors uh, on this is a couple of mil short compared to uh, the harness that's in the set and where the holes are uh, on the label of the battery so I use the label uh, to locate the holes. Um, I'll redo the wires on, on here and then we'll uh, glue these connectors in here and then that will be the uh, the connector terminals for the battery. Then all I gotta do is stuff it with uh, 10 9 volt batteries and uh, reprint, reprint the uh, label on the uh, heavier paper. Um, and we'll be, uh, I think we might be uh, getting close. Um, right, um, at this stage I've uh, glued in the two connectors into the uh, side of the battery case. Um, which is which is okay to locate them, but it's just a lot of hot glue in here. And since these are going to be pressed on, uh, you know, when you put the other connector on here, um, I don't think the uh, hot glue is enough to hold it. So what I'm hoping is that I can get the 9-volt uh, batteries in here in this half of the case. And then I can put some support pieces from one end to the other right across here. So that uh, when you push uh, the connectors on, uh, they're supported from the back. So... That's it for now, I think. Next is to get myself a whole bunch of 9-volt uh, batteries and uh, go from there. Okay. Um, just to show you how the Bajazzo continues to show uh, its superiority, uh, it's the middle of the day here and uh, on long wave there are about four or five um, French stations on long wave but all of my other sets in the house at this time of day when I scan the dial they pick up nothing except this guy so there's one two three four something there but not quite sure so this guy is, continues to just show amazing selectivity and sensitivity. And this is, I guess, what you'd probably call a little bit of a mishmash item. Uh, one of the things I completely forgot when I was building my uh, workbench here last summer was space for a computer so I don't really have bench space for a computer so um, also the Wi-Fi in my house doesn't get out here to the workshop because I don't know why it's not that far uh, the walls are pretty thick uh, all this old stone stuff so uh, I guess I don't know it gets attenuated really badly um, likewise my AM transmitter which is out here in the workshop if I take the radio back into the house, the reception is suddenly really bad and it's it's only like 20 feet or something, you know. Anyway, so I got myself one of these, uh, I think they call them all-in-one PCs. It's got like, uh, it's just like a flat screen, touch screen thing. Uh, and so I, uh, I generally use Powerline for Ethernet distribution in the house. And so uh, I just plugged in a uh, Powerline adapter into the AC outlet here. And it uh, looks like it works fine. And so uh, we have uh, we have internet connectivity. 
Um, yeah, my clock radio. You've seen this in so, uh, radio. This is radio TV phone. Another TV one of my favorite uh, on right, guys on the uh, indie community. Solid state version. So all I got to do now. I don't know. I'm not a big fan of touch, but hopefully that'll work out okay. I mean, it it has a built-in keyboard that. Uh, can uh, use instead of having keyboard and mouse using up space here but I can leave it on the bench and the real reason I got it is to drive the uh, coil winder so I'm going to have to rig up some sort of a visa mount or something so this thing can be hopefully uh, up on something like my lamp here and I can just move it in and out of the way uh, sorry move it out of the way when I'm not using it and then it's handy when I do um, so yeah, so far so good. This looks like a step in the right direction. Uh, next is to uh, sort out a visa mount.